Hey y'all, I'm Bessie Nicole. So I attended the biggest investment festival in the world, put on by Earn Your Leisure in Atlanta, Georgia. They had some big names in the building, Steve Harvey, Dan Peebles, Idris Sandu, Tyler Perry, Pinky Cole was in the building, Angela Yee, 19 Keys, just to name a few. Y'all, here is the inside scoop of the Earn Your Leisure experience. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Destiny Nicole and I have my beautiful cousin, Tavia, with me here today. So today we're just going to do a review of the biggest investment festival ever. It was, it was lit. Yes, Invest Fest in Atlanta, Georgia at the Georgia World Congress Center. Um, if you're not familiar, familiarize yourself okay <laughs> so earn your leisure is a youtube channel here and i think they're actually a media company where they talk about all things investments so definitely check them out if you have not so we're just going to give you guys just a review of the festival as a whole so i guess we'll start with like the registration aspect yeah. you know i mean it was pretty pretty simple regular registration i mean it was a lot of people obviously but i mean the line did kind of flow it ain't like we were just sitting waiting for a long time mm -hmm. it didn't move so yeah that's good so it was a three-day event um friday night was the vip night we just did you know just the general. general admission so that was saturday and sunday um saturday the event started at 10 a.m but we got there at like 8 8 30. First, the first saturday it was like a mess because i think they yeah. didn't have a separate line for VIP and general admission, so like people were getting, well, nobody got trampled, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> it could have happened. It was like a stampede up in there. Yeah. I was like, yeah. man, like, and everybody was just running in trying to get to the front to make sure that they get a good seat. Yeah. 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 It was wow. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> um, but the speakers were, well, well, let's say this Sunday, the. Um, mm -hmm registration went a little bit smoother so yeah they put the little um the ropes, the ropes and stuff to and it was a lot, a lot smoother for sure yeah and then they kind of let people in in waves too mm -hmm. so that was good yeah, it was a big thing Charlotte had them heels on and i was not gonna be running <laughs> Child, I kicked mine off after that two mile hike they had right that's the Child. only thing though like walking to the because for some reason that the uber like dropped us off at a different part of the building so we still had to walk the whole other side yeah. of the building it was was it two miles <laughs> <laughs> it was she talked about i kicked the things i was like bruh in yeah, a way it was yeah it had to come off yeah the speakers phenomenal man. everybody was amazing yes took something from everybody like, everybody dropped some gems mm -hmm. encouraged like yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Definitely left there feeling brand new, yes, ready to renewed. take on the world. Yes. Who was your favorite speaker, though? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, other, I mean, other honestly. Than, other than, you know. I mean, honestly, a lot of them. I mean, you know, 19 keys. Of but I really of love the women's panel, though. You know, I told you that was like yeah. probably my favorite one just mm -hmm. because it was women, like, you know, mm -hmm. just like us. And they were just doing so much and it was mm -hmm. encouraging and everything. So, yeah. And we almost left at that doing, part, though. Right. Like we almost missed out. I'd have been mad. I know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like I, I definitely gained something from everybody. Mm -hmm. But my favorite, I don't know. I feel like he didn't really speak. He yeah, they did. didn't like, not like everybody else. Yeah. But I mean, I, I he love, always do like high level conversations anyway, more yeah, so definitely. than like mm -hmm. other things. His is more of a conversation yeah. so other type than rather than panel. <laughs> and I love Steve Harvey and Tyler Perry too. Yeah, they definitely. definitely yeah, them. definitely very impactful. Dan Cathy mm -hmm. dropped a lot of. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did say him too. I was Dan not Kathy expecting was, that. No, and Dan. About like his deals oh, about relationships and you know everything. family. I was not expecting I mean, that at all. Everybody was amazing. It's really hard to pick. If yeah, you want me to be it is. Telling the truth, it was it hard is. to pick. But everybody they definitely stood out. Mm -hmm. The whole thing was just bomb. Like the vibe and just being in there with all those black people. It was just so powerful yes. in there. Like the yeah, like she said, the energy mm -hmm. and nobody was on no crazy mess. Like right. 
Yeah, the it budget Nisa was nice too, though. Like I love how she's like real straight to the mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. you know. But I, I, a lot of the speakers I had followed before, so I was kind of familiar with them. But some of the people that I weren't familiar with, you know, I've been checking out their content too. So just being introduced mm -hmm. to new people, and of course the networking aspect. Yeah, like, that was good too. Yeah, that was super I'm dope. To think who else was. So the speakers were dope. Um, they also had vendors, so it was like, I don't know how many vendors, it had to be over 100. Yeah, it did. So I think they said it was over 100 for sure. And it that was, was a lot crazy, like it was so many. But I honestly feel like we didn't really have a lot of time to visit all the vendor booths because like, not, like, the speakers were kind of like back to back. The only break that we got was from lunch, mm -hmm. like midday, but I think they should have had more like Space breakout sessions between. to, you know, give people time to network. explore the vendors, network. Mm -hmm. And Get they had, food. yes. <laughs> Shall we we fasted the whole weekend. We <laughs> and it was not planned. Like, we oh, was, Shall we went out into yeah. the food truck and seen them lines. was like, nah. <laughs> Definitely was nah. not going to be standing them on lines. We were going to eat these mints. And, and this, uh, the second right. day, though, we brought, like, fruit More snacks, snacks. Yeah. trail mix. I had some fruit. It was, yeah. But definitely was eating the mints like they was candy yes. though. Yes. But I mean, I wasn't. It wasn't too bad because I'm used to fasting. Mm -hmm. But you yeah, know, it wasn't a planned thing. So mm -hmm. I was like, I had it in my mind that I was gonna be eating, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it was cool. It was just at yeah. the end of the night when I was like, okay, mm -hmm. food, please. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and then the food truck village. So they had food trucks like outside along the the back of the building, and then they also had a food truck village where there was another room with different food vendors. We didn't even see that. We like we didn't have it. time to go and see what that right. was about. We didn't even see the vibranium stage, the no. so second, the other stage. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm upset about that too because yeah. I was looking forward to it. Definitely didn't even know. I didn't know about it at first. Yeah, I think by the time we found out about the vibranium, vibranium stage, it was a. It was. I don't think like the last day, closer yeah. to the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we yeah we missed that. Um. So our takeaways from Invest Fest. I mean. I still feel like, high was, yeah, <laughs> definitely still feeling how of yeah. it. Definitely motivated. Like I've been looking into different stuff. Like I used mm. to do dibble and dabble in stocks, but now I'm looking out to do more into it and learn about trading mm -hmm. and yeah, really just too. make sure my business is right. Like I already had like the, I guess like the motivation and the go get a spirit for that but mm -hmm. that just really helped get me more knowledge for yeah. my business because that's, that's that's what cute. i was missing really mm -hmm. that's what i was no. missing so yeah for me i think i was missing i guess you could say the knowledge but just like executing you know because i don't know like i watch our enemies a lot but and i do you know they really did get me started into yeah, investing okay. to the point where i um actually executed you know what i'm saying because i had been watching them for a minute but i guess you could say they made me feel comfortable with finally opening a, a opening a brokerage account finally opening a utma account for my daughter but um i still have to i just say be consistent and execute more with my other dreams and goals and everything because i do be trying to you know get this money real quick but like every single speaker was like you just have to be consistent you really got to put in a word like over the the long haul. Yep, like Steve Henry said, plant those seeds. seeds. I mean, which we you know we know that and water and all of that. Give it time to grow. Mm -hmm. And he was just saying it's not our responsibility to worry about the how to, which then I already knew that. But you know sometimes we be trying to get to it and we be forgetting. Well, like, okay, how we gonna do this? How we gonna do that? <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's not our job to worry about that. Right. We just got to plant those seeds. Mm -hmm. And watching, then, you know, put war on Mary now and then. Mm -hmm. you know, watch it's going, they gonna flourish, even if it's years down the line. Mm -hmm. They gonna flourish. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite thing about investing? Uh, I mean, the whole thing. Honestly, the whole thing. Like, mm -hmm. I felt so good the whole time. It was like I was on a high. It was just mm -hmm. a different way. I told her when we got back, it literally felt like the same day. Like we had left that day traveled in time or something like yeah, that yeah like a different and then, dimension yeah like, and then come back and it was just later on that evening but it was literally like three days later and that's that's how you know it was the bomb day yeah so, yeah but 
Um, the whole thing. Um, yeah. yeah. Just really sitting there taking everything in, like everybody speaking. I had my little notebook, my pen. I was yeah. going to town with some notes, notes, got pages of notes. and mm -hmm. Sharing notes with other people. <laughs> yeah. Like just yeah. network, everything. Like mm -hmm. the whole entire thing was a vibe. Yeah. For me, if you missed it. listen, if you missed it. listen. <laughs> but sorry, my favorite you. part, just the beauty of all the black people supporting yes, each other, definitely. like just definitely. seeing that and just giving each other their flowers, you know, because you don't see that yeah. often, or at least they say you don't see that. And I just feel like that completely just divides like all the lies and the narrative that we've been told about ourselves definitely. as a people that we don't support each other, we don't get along, we don't work together. And just to see all these black folk working together and yeah just it was beautiful. just to witness it firsthand it was it was powerful that, and it, yes. it was and even like the women like because we i think we get that a lot like black women don't get along we don't support mm -hmm. each other but like just the collaboration across all aspects of this entire event it was just it was amazing to see it was it was, it was just love the mm -hmm. whole time like everybody yeah. showed love to everybody mm -hmm. like yeah. We met people and now we best friends. Right. <laughs> like you you would, know? But I feel like that's how we do. Right. Like we, we just, you know. Yeah, we got like, like we cousins. <laughs> <laughs> we all cousins. Right. Cousins <laughs> and you and Amanda. Right. It's okay. beautiful. It's beautiful. So it definitely, definitely, you know what I'm saying, don't play yourself. That's that's what uh, Troy Rashad likes to say. Don't play yourself. <laughs> definitely go to, you have to be at the, like if you're, even if you're not an entrepreneur, like I feel like if you're just trying to grow, it'll still help yeah definitely like just as a person spiritually mentally mm -hmm. any of physically like yeah it's, it's definitely an experience definitely everybody should experience right <laughs> and before going though like i don't think I'm trying to think i don't think i knew like any of those speakers except mm -hmm. 19 keys but the other ones now i do watch everybody's videos more like i never even really watch his that much but i knew mm -hmm. he was and i, I watched some of his videos but <laughs> I mean, cause you know, I'll be busy. I'll be on the go. I don't yeah. be having time to like sit down and watch yeah, TV yeah, or videos or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Um, not like I would like to. I ain't gonna say like I would like to. I mean, it's night. I'm. I actually since we've been left, I've been mm -hmm. on it. Like been watching tons of videos. Just trying to watch everybody's videos more. Mm -hmm. Just taking more knowledge. And even if I'm not like sitting there watching it, I have it playing while I'm doing something, so I'm listening. So right, yeah, and that's usually what I do. In. Yeah, when I'm like yeah. driving or whatever, I'm listening to somebody's podcast, whether it's Same here. high level conversations. And I always try to make market Mondays because a lot of times I have, because I, I dance on Monday night, so I'm always catching like the tail end of market Mondays, but I have to like go and re watch it. Then I try to watch. Um, High level, high level conversations with 19 Keys. I started watching David Shins's podcast a minute ago, but I don't watch it as often as like Earn Your Leisure. Um, I watched a few episodes with Ash Cash. Um, I love AO, Anthony O'Neill. His podcast is dope. And just having the billionaires in the room too, right. that was like. And they were dropping some gems and yes, yeah. yeah, just. Very encouraging. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah, was I was. I told her <laughs> next year I'm gonna be seeing when y'all see me. Right. Like, yeah, that was <laughs> for real though, for real though. Yeah, but it was nice. Definitely nice. Yeah. So would you recommend? Well, I guess we already said. Yeah, that. definitely recommend. Yeah. Um, for anybody, everybody, and it was some people that had like some babies in there, so. I mean, you know, if you have younger kids, which it was some younger people in there, like in their early 20s, teens mm -hmm. and stuff. So some high school that was really right nice there. to see, too. Yeah, all but ages. if you have um, some kids, you know, I've thought about bringing mine next year or whatever. Mm -hmm. So That'd be dope for them just to just see mm -hmm. all the beautiful black folk. Yeah. Beautiful black experience entrepreneurs. Experience what I experienced. Yeah, and I know they're, um, they said that they're, are you just working on, like, EYL kids, so I'm excited to see what they're oh, going to yeah, do with that. Nice. I know that's going to be super that'd be, dope. That'd be dope. Yeah, so, we'll see. But overall, yes, if you can, if you can't, if you can make it to Invest Fest, definitely do it. If you can't make it, figure out a way to get there. <laughs> right. And if you want me to be honest, you know, I told my cousin, you know, what happened the prior week. Like, I was, didn't even know if I was going to make it or not, but 
I was like, in a way, I'm not gonna go. Right. <laughs> like I had to pay Cannot. no money and everything. I had to be there, and I'm so glad that I was there. So glad that she even told me about it, because like I said, I didn't know none of these people except yeah. one, and then like of course the bigger names like Steve Harvey or mm -hmm. whatever. But I, other than that, I didn't know anybody else before that, so I probably would have never even found out about it till she said something. And yeah. I was looking at the fly, and I was like, yeah. gotta be in there. <laughs> And this was only their the second there. year doing it too. And I think that's huge because I think the first year they had like 4,000 people. And I was listening to them at that time, but I was just like, mm, I don't really, you know, you don't really know sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. But this year they had, it had to be over 13,000 people this yeah, year. Yeah, that's what they said. And um, I think the next time I'll do it though, I may do VIP. Yeah, just I will depending do on, VIP. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, I'll do, I'll do <laughs> VIP. But it's so crazy because we was, I mean, like we both definitely on the same page. And like when she showed me, I was like, yeah, we, I'm going for sure. And mm -hmm. I think like the next day or the day after that, we bought our tickets mm -hmm. like, won't plan. Let right. me in the building. We and going. we bought our tickets for... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Europe. I can't wait. Yes, we so going. They're, they're going to Europe in October, and we already yes. got our tickets. Yes, we ready. Okay, so we in there. We ain't playing. <laughs> we ain't playing. It's okay. gonna be lit. It's a whole yeah. movement, though. Like I, I think I, I just love what they're trying to. I love what they're doing. Yes, this financial literacy movement is literally it is. taking over the world, mm -hmm. and it, you know, just to be a part of it is super dope. It's definitely a movement. Mm -hmm. It just. It, I don't know. Honestly, really, like, words can't describe it. Like, getting our people, you know, caught up on financial literacy, mm -hmm. tell, teaching them how to build wealth, yes. and like family. that's what we need to get back to where we were because mm -hmm. we were there. Like, right. you know. Yeah. And that reminds me of Wall Street Trapper, too, because I think he's, like, super dope. Like, I feel like, did I start listening to him first? I don't know who I started listening to first, but um, I don't know. Like, Wall Street Trapper, I feel like he just has a way of connecting with people like I don't it's, it's super dope it's super dope because I mean I think it's more so like with just being black period but then mm -hmm. just everybody you can relate to them more mm -hmm. than listening to you know but did you say <laughs> <laughs> I did you know you know yeah you're right but it's, it's more relatable to see someone that looks like you that's doing mm -hmm. it and you know that has this knowledge so yeah. and i think it, it takes you... the fear out of it too mm -hmm. so. like if you can do what i can do it why right. not mm -hmm. yeah so it was amazing mm. it was amazing it was yeah so hopefully we'll see y'all in europe, in europe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. or next next year Fleet. for the third annual invest fest yes. you know because we're yeah. gonna be in there too mm -hmm. i have like i i can't not go unless I'm booked and busy somewhere, you know, that's right. like the only way I wouldn't be able to right. make it, but so what can they improve on next year, EYL? Um, definitely make it more organized. I don't know, maybe if they, not to say that they don't, but maybe if they get some women on their team to get more in detail, you know. Yeah, it was a little details. But Dan Kathy talked about too. Mm -hmm. Definitely, they it matters. The details yeah. matter a mm -hmm. lot. Because I, I don't know, just we didn't do VIP, but just talking to some of the people that did VIP outside. Well, I think some of the people had some qualms with like the because Friday night was just for VIP, so it was supposed to be like an intimate dinner where you could mix and mingle with some of the big names that were attending or hosting or speaking at Invest Fest. But just hearing feedback for some people, and then I, it's always what you make it, but, you know, some people was just saying that it didn't really feel like a VIP experience. Um, Friday night and then Saturday morning, it didn't really feel like a VIP experience because even though they had, you know, their VIP wristbands and they had special seating, like, at the front. And that's another thing, too. Like, they didn't have VIP. They didn't Section let it be known though. that VIP was just for the front because when right. we first got there, we were some of the first people in line, and we, right. of course, we going straight to the front, <laughs> right? Okay, Probably and then yeah. basically we got kicked out because we went VIP. They was like, I was like, what's that? Okay, right. <laughs> but they but didn't have this. it like roped off like the on Saturday morning, like this is specifically for VIP. Yeah, and then you know VIP, they just it, you know, it just wasn't a VIP treatment the first day, but the second day. They did, you know, have their little section roped off, and they had a separate line for VIP to actually go into the auditorium. Mm -hmm. Even some people that was in VIP, though, said that they got kicked out of VIP because they um, had forgot their lane. Even though mm -hmm. they had their the wristband and everything, they said they still got kicked out, and I'm like, nah, bruh. Right. 
not when I don't pay my money. I understand I forgot it, but I can show you, yeah. you know, my ticket. Yeah. I can show you everything. Yeah. Just that one thing and you kick me out. Right. That, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. At this that yeah, at this point we gotta I need to see the manager. Right. <laughs> <That's what laughs> uh, what's his name? Rashad. Right. Rashad. What's the other, what's the other Troy, one? Yep. Yeah. Come here real quick. Let me holler at okay. you. Let me holler at you. Listen, Get your people. What we're not gonna do. It's put me out when it's, I don't paid all this money. Okay. And some people pay some money. Yeah. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but, the, and some what are the some other things they can improve on? I think getting the word out, maybe about um, because a lot even the programs that they had they weren't available to everybody. I guess they sold out or they gave out a lot of the programs already. Like a lot of people didn't have it, and then there were vendor booths in the program book, but there weren't like I don't know. I just feel like there should have been some. Maybe it was information about the vibranium stage and the food truck village in the book. I don't know. I don't remember. But um, I definitely didn't yeah. see none of it. Didn't even know. Yeah. But as far as improvements, I definitely think they should have more breakout times outside of just lunch. Yeah, like you give know, give us time to network with other people because we got yeah. to talk to other people, but just really not as much mm -hmm. as we wanted to without yeah. missing stuff. Because I wasn't trying to miss nothing. Right. Like, yeah. The every that panel dropped. that was going on, I didn't want to miss nothing. So I'm in there every time. Yeah. Then lunch broke out. That's when we left out. But in that time, we was kind of like going to see about the vendors too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because we had to leave for really... lunch. Like you couldn't stay in there and try to save your seat. Mm -hmm. Like you had to leave. Even if you didn't go get nothing to eat, you still have to get up out of there. Right. You know, so they could clean up or whatever after mm -hmm. lunch. But, um, because we did get there early. I think that's one thing we'll do next year, too, is get there early, earlier. Right. Unless so they that we fix can their network. problem, then it may be a little bit better. Yeah, but, but, yeah, for networking, yeah. yeah, that would be nice to still get there a little bit earlier. Yeah, that would get there early. Because that's the only thing, though. Like, I wish I would have, could have connected with more people. Mm -hmm. You know, even though we've talked to a lot of people, but yeah. I still would like to have came out with like what resort where I say get a hundred yeah, more yeah, numbers. Yeah, like, said, I'm gonna get I ain't got numbers. no more space in my phone. That's what right. I would like. Right. I ain't got no space to save no more numbers. Mm -hmm. That's what I would want. The EYL experience. It was dope. It was dope. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> it up. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And we'll see you in the next one.